Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for Color Rush Studios and I'm using the Wild Soul Kit as well as the Add-on Kit because, you know, we like all the things. So what we have here is beautiful, beautiful papers. Guys, I have a stack of them from, stack, from the Joyful Notes collection. It's a pink paisley collection. And I've chosen a few for my first layout. I also have this treasure trove of goodies. I've got some beautiful butterflies. Look at this, bloom and grow. I've got acrylic pieces, daisies, little gnomies, florals, all kinds of things. And then I have got an ephemera pack from the Joyful Notes collection as well. We have got some frazzle and ribbons. Look at the daisies. And then I've got thickers in Happy Day and they are a glossy puffy. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Glossy puppies. Okay, so I have all kinds of things. Now, we have a sketch for Color Rush Studios that I'm gonna work from. And I think it's a sketch as well as a, um, yeah, 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 I gotta say it right. Sketch as well as a twist. So the twist, I'm looking for the sketch right now. The twist is, well, let me show you the sketch, actually, because I have it handy dandy. There, that's not even helping you with that bright glare, but let's work on it. So it is bordered a couple times. We've got photos down here, a nice block of something, and let's see, embellishment, embellishment going this way, and maybe something here. We'll see. I kind of like me a visual triangle, but we'll see how that goes, right? Love it. And I love when you're using a new kit, that if you start with a sketch, you have this jumping off point and then you get to know your product a little bit better. So the, um, the twist is to add a folding element or embellishment to your page. Okay, so that's how I'm kind of kicking off Ziho Sing. So I grabbed to start this paper, love this cranberry tone. This is going to be my background. Well, I can tell you what they're called. This one's called With Love. So is this. I have two. Um, and then I think, I, and then this one's called Hello Friend. I loved the cranberry. So right now, this is how I have it. Now, what I thought would be fun to do for the twist is I want to cut out a bunch of these circles. And the twist being a folding embellishment. <laughs> and I'm going to fold up the edges along these lines. I'll score them and kind of make a design of some kind, 3D design of some kind. Not entirely sure where I'm going with it. It's gonna be great. Okay, now here are my photos. I don't know if I'm using both. I don't know if I'm using only one. We're gonna see how it goes. Goes. Uh, this is myself and a pig I met. The pig was a little stuck up. It didn't wanna be held that much. However, the goat, It was there was a set of twin goats where I was. The goats wanted to be picked up, carted around, loved on the entire thing. What is, oh, there's a piggy behind me too. Willing to be around me, didn't really want to want the snuggle quite as much. But I'm pro farm animal, it's totally true. Now, I know how I want to get started with this, then maybe I'll pop into the embellishments once I get going with that. I just have to kind of decide. <laughs> I think I want to use these wood pieces and a bunch of these beautiful daisies. I think they're so cute. I love that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna kind of concentrate there. I'm not sure, who knows. I'd love to bring in some of the butterflies. Guys, these are from Kay and & Company and they are dimensional. If you look on the side, there's little foamy bits in between and we have metallic gold, so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. So. Let's see, we've got our piece. What I could do is go ahead and trim this down. So I will trim it here and here so I can keep most of this integrity with the numbers because I like them. So that can be a really great background. And of course I'll gut it because we don't want to waste the paper. And then I have to cut out a bunch of my circles and score them and then do a little design. Now, still going, I want to decorate these up. So I think I'm going to get my acrylic markers up and give them a tiny bit of a zhuzh. I love, 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 love me some daisies. But these could also go with the colors in the kit because depending on how you look at it, 
They also are vibing my um, zinnias. So maybe I will go with this gorgeous tones of pink to do my zinnia thing. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out as we go. So let me do a little bit of homework. I'll map my, I actually don't even have to map these on white because I have them um, with a nice white border, but we'll see if we map them along the way. We have lots of pieces we can use to do so. Hey you. So that's what I'm going to do so far. Give me a minute, not a minute. It'll be one second for you guys to let me get some of my homework done and I'll be right back. All righty. So I have all of my little pieces and they're folded. You know how we're supposed to do flaps? I'm like, these could be flaps. They're cute. So we have all of that. I'll figure out that design in a second. Now we need that block piece that goes right here. And I was thinking that this font or this, like the wordy bits, it's called thinking of you. And that would be like a nice something, but <laughs> clearly I have a lot going on, right? Like nobody, nobody's saying I don't. Let's make sure that it's wide enough to deal with photos. We can always trim it more. Okay, but I, you know, I'm like, I know I have a lot of pattern going on, but sometimes when you have product that is this pretty, you just need to do what you need to do. So according to our sketch, there's only a little bit of um, like the ledger paper showing on the outside. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll be able to pop that down. So pretty. Nice little pretty piece. Okay. So we have that. So that's going to go there, right? A little bit of the tan showing. Then I was thinking it might be nice for that piece that goes right here to bring in just a little of this mustard tone. So let me go ahead. I'm not even going to need much. I'll go like this because it's going to be sticking out from behind. So let me go like this. And it's about, yeah, bit. Well, it's going to be one of these sizes. Okay. Let me put that over there. Let's see. Do we like this? Nope. I like the bigger one. So that pretty much takes care of the paper part of the sketch. I still have to trim my photos and all of that. Don't really have a full plan. Now we have the piece here, the piece here. And that's where I think these little guys will come in. What I want to do is I will choose different ones. I love the fact that they're on a diagonal. And guys, I can use these for like 3,000 layouts. It's fine. But what we can do, guys, is they can all go together and form these little diamonds. Because I can glue the little flaps together. Guys, stop it. Look at how cute that is. It's just cute. So I like the pink. And you get to kind of mix and match and decide what it is that you want from your design when you're doing this stuff. So it's fun. So I have that. And then let's see, I have a pink. Doo -doo. How about this? Let's bring in a little of this tan. And then, you know, my photos can go right here. That's going to be great. So I could do a full diagonal, but I'm going to try to stick to the sketch a little bit. Guys, help me pick out one more. I think the green. Or do I do a solid because I did a solid here? I'll do a solid. Okay. So I will stick all of those together. That's great. Now, photos. I still have to trim this. I could just leave it as it is because I have plenty of patterned paper. So I can do that. And I'm wondering, should I leave it in the block and see if I have enough pretty flowers to go down the middle? As long as we see piggy, that's fine. And I think I'm going to do that. So let me trim this with my Vintage um, trimmer. Guys, I have had this thing forever, but it keeps kicking. It keeps kicking. So let's see, like about that much. I want it fairly even, about that much. And about that much, there we go. So we've got a nice photo block. I will pop that down and then guys, we get to do decorations, so many decorations. I still do have to also um, paint up, paint up my little floral bits. <gasps> That's gonna be so cute. I might be able to do something kind of like that. And then since I'd want wood there, if I had that, 
maybe I'll have you grow, girl. I love the wood veneer pieces. I think they're amazing. So look at that visual triangle. Love it. I'm going to make them like the pinks and like pinks and like this um like orangey yellowy vibe. I think that would do it for me. So I still have to decorate that. I have to get all of these pieces down and then, oh, but wait, I have so many gorgeous like ephemera pieces I can use. Oh guys, you know what I should do too? I should bring in, I'm not, I'm not going to take them off yet till I glue them on like these tan colored, you know, tan ish colored, uh, butterflies. So it can bring out some of the back. So we're going to do that guys. I have so many fun ideas with this kit. I, I just can't stand it. All right. Let me get these pieces down. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I think this is so fun already. Let me show you where we are. I went ahead and painted up my little wood pieces and my butterflies are just placed down because I wanted to know pretty much where I wanted to have the little guys. Now, according to our sketch, this flower here would be here, but uh, things happened. You know, artistic license, all of that. So now I just need to kind of zhuzh up my areas as well as, come to think of it, I need to come up with a title. Ooh, and I've got these beautiful pieces too. Ugh. It can be so, ooh, that could be pretty. I'm, I'm having this full conversation with myself and you guys don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Notice how delicate I am when I'm like, ooh, this is pretty, let me take this off. Okay, I don't know how she puts these on so tidy. Alas, I am not tidy. This would be really cute to do like a little bow and have it end right here too. So I think I'm gonna do that with this really nice green gingham so I can have that out. That's great. Now I like the idea. You know how I was saying that we have this little center like of decorating it somehow and these little daisies are super cute. I'm just looking at them. Oh, you guys, that is downright cute. Just the way it is. All right, so those will probably end up sticking right there you know, anything can change. Now we've got all of these ephemera pieces and I really want to take a look-see at them. Like this piece here, it's stunning. I, I do need to come up with my title really quickly. I mean, I can always have hello, it's a classic. Might as well pop it out in the event that we go there. Oh, kind of like that a lot. Hold on. I like this popped up here. I might pop it up just a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. And I would take away one of those large florals because I can always use them later. I like these kind of piled up. Ooh, we don't want to miss that chicken. Okay, so we've got hello for some reason. That was easy. And now guys, look at these pieces. There's this nice, very metallic gold on them, which pleases me to no end. So we've got a floral here. That'd be fun for the floral and the floral to be together. Although, would we rather, here's a question, because that's such a close color, would we rather have this pretty, pretty blue in pink? I, well, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, and we also have a cone flower. Where is my little trash bin? We also have this sweet little cone flower that we can have, now I love it, that's perfect. So we have that. I do very much love this orangey yellow. So perhaps I can have that pop up a bit. Ooh, that can pop up too. And I'll put a little bit of dimension right behind it. No muss, no fuss, don't worry. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, ooh. Like guys, this stuff is so pretty. You don't even have to like <laughs> overthink things like I normally like to. Like how that is starting to layer up and be so interesting. I have a little gold in here, a little gold here, so I need to find whatever treasures. I mean, I don't need to, but I'm gonna. Too big, but I love it. Let's see. Definitely love these tones. And guys, this this um, ephemera set comes with a vellum as well, and I'm gonna just have to get some of the vellum tucked into the pieces. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find what we need. I'm just on the hunt. So if I grabbed like this one right here has some gold. So let me see. Oh, I found another one that's so pretty with gold. 
So we can have a nice little stack. And then this just reads, you grow girl, which is so cute. I can have things, butterfly, floral, a little you grow girl can rest right on top of them. And guys, look at that. Oh, we want the gold. Guys, come on. It's so cute. Comes together so incredibly quickly when you've got pretties. Okay. I'm thinking I just might bump up these layers a little bit. I have to get my green, green piece in here. This hello needs to be popped up. My little like acrylic-y daisies need to be attached down assess a little bit this this is so close to being done so i have this hello and i need a little something else for the title so i'm going to go ahead and fussy cut out the word you because i think hello you would be so cute when i was meeting my little friends and then guys i'm kind of feeling like this is going to be done so wow this this went together so nice and quickly but you know that's what happens when you have gorgeous product so i'm going to put the little you down and then I'm going to take some still shots for you guys. So guys, down below will be the link to the website where you can get your hands on these kits. And then guys, come over to our Facebook group and play along with the challenge. I would love, look at these. I would love to see what you guys create with these goodies. And guys, I'm going to see you guys ever so soon with another video. Oh, and remember, this was the challenge I did with the sketch and then creating flaps. I just choose to have my flap sticking straight up and I have some nice little diamond bits. How fun. Okay guys, still shots to follow and I'll see you ever so soon with another video. Bye guys.